I'm Brett St. Clair, local president of 6215 CWA in Dallas, Texas. And who do you represent? Uh, all communication workers of America in the Dallas Fort Worth local. And there have been some recent uh, explosions at the Waco uh, where health and safety issues have been raised, why this was happening. Can you talk about the issue of health and safety in Texas and what issues you're concerned about as far as protecting the health and safety of your members and, and working people in Texas? Everybody. Uh, we need to strengthen OSHA's power to go in and investigate all these companies because, uh, believe it or not, and, and I hate to talk about Republicans and Democrats, but basically the Republicans are running this. The 1% in the world is running this. And we should have strength, and OSHA should be funded, because I guarantee you if they start investigating these companies more, it will protect our workers across this whole country. But they will not spend the money for uh, health and safety. So in, in Texas, how many inspectors do they have? Now that's a good question. I don't think they have any. But sure enough, they probably have some. But truly coming in and inspecting, a I mean, actually going in and see what's going on, it's not happening in Texas. And we have to strengthen our laws and give the uh, uh, programs like OSHA the authority to do what they're supposed to do in this country. And we need to get back to that because bottom line is this, safety. It's a God-given right. You go to work and be able to be in a safe condition at work. But if you mention anything about it in Texas, next thing you know, you're fired. And thank God for unions because we can step in and help people. Isn't it illegal to fire people who talk about health and safety? It is illegal. But let's get down to cold facts here. It's about money and politics. These companies have gotten away with a lot of things. And just like this explosion, it's like the safety of our country. In our country, you've noticed in the last, since Obama's been in, he's taking care of business. We're taking heat about him shutting down Boston. But thank God the man did. He found these people within, what, 48 hours? That's a good thing. Now, um, as far as uh, protection of unions, it's a, it's Texas is an uh, open shop state, you know, and, and what does that mean for organizing in Texas? It is a, a big problem. Anytime you uh, let these politicians fund money, like in Wisconsin, if Wisconsin would have voted on their own, they'd be a closed workshop state. But nobody knows, there was literally hundreds of millions of dollars that come in outside of that state, come in to defeat that bill, and now it's a right to work state. When it's a right to work state, it's nothing more than killing the unions. But always remember this, right to work, that sounds good, because the average citizen does not know what that means. All they hear is right to work. Well, everybody has a right to work, but it really kills unions. Well, that means uh, it was, it's been said that the workers at that plant that blew up in Waco, they were afraid to really speak out about what they saw as health and safety problems. Is, is that the case, do you think? That's exactly right. Because if you speak out, you're going to get fired. You'll get fired for some reason. And we need unions in this country. And when I say unions, a lot of people think unions is a negative. It's not. It's a collection of people to do the right thing. And that's what we want done in this country. Do the right thing. You, shouldn't have, you should not have to fight a company that's making billions of dollars to have a right to come to work safely. Isn't that crazy? 